And it's Wednesday night, um, as ever was. Not that I even know what day it is lately. It's been funny, very, very strange. And it's going to be a very, very strange show tonight as well. You will see that I have both monitors already populated to my left. Left, yes, to my left, as you will see. In her usual monitor is the effervescent loveliness that is Sav, who will be reading comments from chat, but who we hope will not be overly stretched tonight. Because in the right-hand monitor over there, all the way from deepest, darkest, where is it? Derbyshire. Northwest Leicestershire, technically. My fence is the border, so I'll let you off with South Derbyshire. Right. Well, it's Dave. It's Dave Kitson, who I hope is going to be the first of many Skype callers tonight. I've got a couple of others lined up and a couple of people have already said that they're going to uh, Skype in because I need your help tonight. And I ain't joking. This is real. And you'll find out why straight after the titles. This is VT Talk. All right. When it's sitting... Dave's getting sorted, as you can see now. He's, he's twiddling and tweaking, which is, is what we do. It's, it's part and parcel of, of where we go. It's, this is the technological side of what's going on. And can it's... I just a question, Dave. Have you shortened your titles? <laughs> <laughs> the VT Talk titles have always been very short. Uh, yes. I should watch it more often. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll let you off with that one. Um, where was I? Where was I? Yes, let, I'll, I'll go close up you come on, on, on the mush and then we can kind of go from there. I need your help tonight. And here's why. Um, on Monday coming, I shall be uh, speaking at a conference. Uh, the conference is called Plotting a New Course. And as you will see from the visual that we've put up here, it's examining the new policy and practice landscape. And it's all about harm reduction. Um, it's all about drugs, alcohol, smoking, all of that kind of stuff, cigarettes, nicotine, you name it. Any, anything that anybody, you know, that the prohibitionists want to get shot of, it's all about reducing the harm from those. And it's led me to ask myself a lot of questions and one I really need your help with. Because the nature of this conference is, as I said, is about harm reduction. It's about people continuing to do what they did, but safely. It's about not being judgmental about the substances that people use or abuse, because the line between use and abuse is an arbitrary one. What constitutes abuse? I don't know. What I need to know though, is where we all are as electronic cigarette users. Now you can call them what you like. You can call it an electronic cigarette. You can call it a personal vaporizer. You can call it an electronic nicotine delivery system or ENDS. You can call it a personal electronic nicotine inhalation system. And you can work out what that stands for yourself. But what I want to know tonight from you is why you use them. What made you start using e-cigs? I'm kind of hoping that people will Skype in. Now, the Hi-Fi Stud Skype is on auto answer. And the way we're going to work it is very simple, really. I would ask you, please, to wait until you see Sav full screen. When you see Sav full screen like that, then you can dial in. First one in gets it. Um, it's, it's the only way we're going to be able to control it. We don't have fancy switchboards. And, and stuff like that, he said, looking completely into the wrong camera. We don't have fancy switchboards and stuff like that here to work with. Um, so we're gonna we'll get the ball rolling. Please call in. I need your stories. I need to know why you started. I need to know why you're continuing. And I wanna know if you've got an end game. What is the end game for you? Because I'm gonna be standing up on my hind legs on Monday at this conference, plotting a new course. And I'm gonna be telling people who are policy makers, people who are going to be deciding how these things move forward, what they're about, what they're for, 
and how we're using them. Kind of a sales tactic, I suppose, if you like. I'm going to be a salesman for e-cigs and telling everybody why they're great and why they're brilliant. But I need you to tell me. Otherwise, I'm not going to know. I'm going to start with Dave, Dave Kitson, who has got to be one of my best mates. And I'm saying that in all truth, Dave. Seriously, yeah. Um, but although we've swapped tails an awful lot, and I know how you got into them, mm -hmm. I'm st I still don't really know why and why you got into them and what your end game is. So why did you decide to go into e-cigs and what is your end game? Right, well, the first thing you need to differentiate is why I started using them. Yes. And what I'm doing now. <laughs> okay, because because there's a definite been a definite change. I, I got into them for uh, uh, two reasons really. Right, one was that I might smoke a few less fags. Okay, I uh, ne never really seriously considered that I wanted to quit. I'm one of the few people that I meet uh, at vape meets and forums and doing the shows that we do that's never tried NRT. I've never tried it because I didn't try and quit. Um, uh, I literally walked past this thing, saw this, saw a guy, it was an Elite stand in a shopping mall, saw the guy demonstrating this thing and thought, yeah, I bet that's crap. So I went and had a chat with him, tried one out and I bought one half because I like gadgets and half because I thought, well, you know, what's the worst that can happen? You know, uh, maybe I'll cut down to 10 a day instead of the 20 to 25 or whatever it was I was on. So the, uh, the, the, the original the original thing had a kind of a health aspect to it? it, it so, sort of. I had, a, I had a health scare about uh, six or seven months previous to the time that I'd done it. And whilst it wasn't directly connected to smoking, uh, the surgeon was very, very... It was a blood pressure, pressure related thing. I, I had a small hemorrhage. Uh, I was very, very fortunate. And uh, the surgeon explained to me the effect of smoking. Uh, on that so it's so I had that at the back of my mind um, but you know I wasn't setting out to quit and and you know I mean if you're okay with it I just just like to give a couple of thoughts on on, on this this word that we're using quit oh god yes conversation and the word quit crops up and I know for some people it's a very emotive subject and I, and I kind of understand why and if you turn the clock back two years and uh, when Vapor Trails TV was starting uh, and, you know, we were very much pushing the message at that time uh, that, that you can't say you've quit. Mm. And do you remember some of the arguments on forums and stuff that came out? People say, well, I have quit. So don't be so bloody stupid. I've quit and I'm going to say I've quit. And, uh, and, you know, because I've quit. And, and, you know, I've given a lot of thought to this lately. I mean, we're, we're in a position now where we're faced with actual legislation that can... The, 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 there's a lot of debate about how much it's going to affect us. But let's face it, it's going to spoil this good thing that we've got going at the very least. And it could even sort of make it unviable for a lot of people. Indeed. And, uh, and, and, and the reason we're in the situation we're in is because of this notion of quitting. Now, as far as the, 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 the health authorities, whether you're talking about the EU or the MHRA or your local, the, the BMA, let's talk about the BMA because they're really anti these things, right? And that they, they see them as a quit device, okay? Um, whereas you and I don't. And, 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 and I, like I said, I've been thinking about this quite a lot recently. And, and you know, what, what I think it boils down to simply is definitions. Um, consider this, right? You go, if you're worried about the damage that smoking's doing to your health and you go and see your GP, right? He doesn't offer you smoking cessation therapy. No. He offers you nicotine replacement therapy. Yes. They're not trying to get you to quit smoking. They're trying to get you to quit nicotine. That's exactly right, yes. Because that obviously means, by default, that the smoking has to stop. Um, there is this concept. The, the whole concept of tobacco harm reduction, I've seized on it because there's a lot of senior guys making some headway selling the concept. 
I actually am a little bit uncomfortable with it, really, because I don't actually consider that I'm doing myself harm by using e-cigs. But one thing's for sure, I'm definitely not wanting to quit nicotine. But if you want to be literal, I think that was the word you used at the beginning when we were having a chat beforehand. Mm. If you take literal definition, I have quit smoking. I no longer set fire to anything. And that's demonstrated by the fact that I can do this in a pub and I can't smoke. But what we've got at the moment is we've got like a sort of a a double standard, a dual definition of smoking. When you're talking about the smoking ban, we don't smoke. Yeah. Um, uh, And we have, for all intents and purposes, quit smoking. But when you're talking about the medical definition, I don't think we've quit smoking. They call it smoking cessation. It's really nicotine cessation that they're trying to get you to do. Well, that's exactly it. Yes, I think there are there are two um, two meanings of the word quit, as you say. One is to quit, cold turkey, nicotine cessation, become nicotine abstinent. That is what, well, that was the only definition of quit before e-cigs came along, because there was, as the, uh, as the MHRA would put it, there is no, there was no indication for the continued use of NRT or anything else that provided nicotine. Uh, it, apart from things like snus, and they've effectively banned that. But there again, that wasn't an official product, was it? And snus was considered to be a tobacco product and as bad as smoking by the powers that be. So there's, yep. never, there's never been that, um, the whole notion of quit meant to become nicotine abstinent. It's only really since uh, e-cigs have come about that you could have quit Smoking, quit taking a fag, sparking up the lighter, lighting the end of the fag and sucking the fumes in. It's only since e-cigs have come around that you could quit smoking without quitting the nicotine. Exactly. Now, the, the thing I need to know, the thing I've got to know before Monday is what the end game is for all sorts of people. Dave, I'm going to park you for a minute if that's all right. Absolutely. Um, because we've got two people that have already booked calls. Um and this is going to be interesting because I've now got to try and work out how to get them in. And it's going to be, this is going to be, it's going to be on, you'll see it all happening on screen. The I'm magic, biting. the magic's disappeared. I'm biting my nails. You're not the only one because I can't see them on here. <laughs> the air, no, yes, there we go. Well, I'm still live. <laughs> I know you are. I'm, I, my problem here is that I can't see what I'm looking at, even though I've got my new glasses which I hope everybody likes. Dave, uh, put the round ones on, they'll work better. Thank you for that, Dave. All right, here's the first one I got. Uh, it's John, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call John up now. So, John, I hope you're ready. Here we go. And he's going to get added to the call. That's going to be the way it's going to work. That's cool. It's fine by me. John, are you there? This is, this is, this is... No, he's not. John? John? No, he's gone. Not there, right? We'll try the next one. And this would be uh, BWV, I think. Um, and I'll do it exactly the same way. I'll add to the call. So it, it'll work that way. Then we've got a little bit of company. Pressing the button. Hello. Hello. We've got you. We've got right. you. Right. You have me. Yes. In, indeed, yes. Now, you've heard what we've been saying so far. Um, what what's your take on all of this? Where what what made you start, and what do you see your end game as being? Do you see yourself as being a quitter in the old terms, where the end game is is complete nicotine abstinence, or do you see the end game being using e-cigs for the rest of your natural until you know the lid gets nailed down? Using e-cig definitely. Okay. And what, what made you get into them? What made you start? Uh, well, I saw them, disposables, in the local shop. And uh, what happened then was uh, I thought, oh, I'll just have, a, have a go at one of those. And it saved me money. Okie dokie. So it was a, a money-saving um, kind of thing to start with for you. Um, and, and where are you at now? What, what kind of stuff are you using now? Uh, now I'm using BAMO, the buildables, BB Novas. Uh, I've just started making my own juice. Okay. Mm. <laughs> the bug's and bit I, then. 
Mm. And I gradually, uh, I didn't intend to quit smoking cigarettes. I just found I was smoking less and less and less and less. <laughs> I, I, I can echo all that. I mean, my, um, I forgot to light up, basically. Uh, I think my story's been told before, but it, it, it's a very, very simple one. Um, one of the guys came into the recording studio where I worked. <laughs> that was the only one that did. Um, and, and he had a looky lighty dangling from between his lips. I saw that and saw the opportunity, once I found out what it was, to use something like that where the smoking ban was in force, which was basically everywhere I was working. And I was working 16 hours a day. So it was never going to be good for me. It was never going to end well. I was either going to have beer thrown over thousands of pounds worth of gear or e-cigs were going to do the job for me. And it's turned out, oh, we've got you in vision now. Hiya. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, I thought I just clicked accept video. Sorry, oh. Anna. That's okay. It's okay, I just noticed that, yeah. There you go. Yes, I, I, I can't quite get to see and do all of this. It's, this is a departure. I said it was going to be strange. That's what I'm using at the moment. There you go. Super stuff. Um, so, I, I promise not to touch anything else. Dave, please, 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 you can't do what you need to do because I'm totally lost here. I'm, I'm losing the plot left, right and centre. I need more nicotine. <laughs> Send the 45 milligram stuff up. So there you go then, from a, from a start with disposables, you're now using Avamo, Rebuildables, all of the good stuff with yeah. no intention to, to cut down the nicotine milligrams or anything like that? No, in actual fact, I started low and worked up to 24 milligrams and I used 24 in the morning, 18 in the evening. And that's it. I'm happy. Girl after my own heart. That's what I like to mm. see. People, I moved up as well. I mean, when we got to start, Dave, I think highest we could get was probably 18. No, uh, I, 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 quite recent in the day compared to yourself, of course. Uh, so the first bottle of juice I bought was 24 and I had the option of 36. But I, I, I went onto a forum and said, guys, what the hell should I be ordering? And there was some debate about 18, 24. And I can remember mulling this over and going for 24 because you can cut that down, but 18 you can't easily boost it up. <laughs> exactly right, exactly right. I mean, I started, I think I started with 18 um, and Sharp found some 24. And the minute the 32s came out, I got the 32. And then when I get my hands on 36, got into it. And then when Dave came up with the 45, yes, that's yeah. me. But the 45, you know, I'm, I'm not using much of that at all at the moment because, like, you know, I'm uh, sort of uh, semi-retired. <laughs> a man of leisure. And a man of leisure yes. until I get a job. Um, uh, so, so at the moment, I, well, I've just mixed up. You saw that I did on Sunday night. Mix that up. That's uh, 25 milligram, that is. Yes, and I was looking at that earlier, and I'm here to tell you that camel is definitely pregnant. Yes. Without a doubt. So, Anna, the, 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 the whole notion of all of this then, for me to take with me on Monday, the end game for you is e-cigs forever. That's it, yes. Okie dokie, that's brilliant. Thank you so much for joining us um, and, 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 and having your say. Um, you're the first of the great British public, I think, to do this in the new Look VT talk. So thank you very much for that. Um, it's nice to put a face to a name as well, Anna. It's, nice to meet you. It certainly is. It's lovely. Lovely smile and all. Right. Um, <laughs> I'm going, yes. to, I'm going to chuck it across to Sav, who can bring in whatever chat's been saying, and then we'll see if we've got the next one lined up. And it's, it's, I should point out, before we go any further, it's set to auto accept. So dial in. Hi-Fi Stud is the one you're looking for. H-I-F-I-S-T-U-D. Sav, what's happening in chat? I've got loads of comments from chat, so I will just rattle through them and then we'll see where we go. Okay. Um, Safer Six has said, heart attacks at a young age running my family. My granddad, dad and brother all had heart attacks at 42. I did not want that, so change was required. A6 gave that change. Ratfinks has said, I was being hospitalised two to three times a year with asthma, but I didn't want to quit cigarettes because I found it helpful for my depression. Catch 22 until I found electronic ones. Dolphin M says, I was going deaf from being shouted at. NRT had failed three times, so she bought me a lookalike and it grew from there. Egomaniac has said, I started at the recommendation of my doctor. 
That was a year past, and not a ciggy since, after over 50 years of a pack of the day smoking. I vape to continue enjoying smoking. There's no reason to call Ellen's I'm in the States and don't count for the UK EU purposes, but I thought I'd at least let you know that some physicians are more into the vaping programme than others. Thank you. Thomas Bear has said, I didn't want to quit. I have asthma, but it's so much better with vaping. Russell Ord has said, smoke equals burning. Nicotine has nothing to do with it. He's not Sue wrong. Se- no, nope. Sue 71 UK has said, I have never smoked, as you all know. I am an asthma sufferer, and I started vaping a year and a half ago, and I'm really enjoying zero milligram nicotine. Um, there is no way I wanted to smoke. I chose the healthy option. Mm-hmm. NY Tech said, I stopped because of the smell. I had just spent a fortune having the place redecorated. Russell Webster says, I stopped because I tried vaping and enjoyed it more than smoking. That's simple. Cronus says, why quit something enjoyable and harmless? MG Jones says, I got into them to save money because I didn't want to and never have wanted to quit smoking. FMRL said, end game for me is to stick with e-cigs. Maybe reduce my nicotine consumption over time, but I don't feel there's any rush. When I smoked, I always worried about how much harm they are doing, so I, I was forever in the smoke-quit-smoke smoke cycle. Mm-hmm. And Midge Dog has, has said, I see PVs and the future derivatives as the end game right now. No reason to consider stopping, given the choice. Exactly right. Exactly right. And you'll be able to see that there is a, a dark figure in the, uh, the right-hand monitor. It's very boring, has joined us. Good evening to you, very boring. Good evening. So I'm going to put the same question to you as I put to everybody else. Um, why did you get a start and what's the end game for you? Because this is, it's so informative for me. It's, it's teaching me everything I need to know. So same question. How did you start and what's the end game for you? Well, I got into them because of the cost of smoking and for health. But not just my health. It's, I, I live in a shared flat. So, and I was the only smoker. I was worried about flatmates as well. Um, so I tried them, and they worked straight away for me. I quit smoking immediately. Right. I've been on e-cigarettes since the 8th of March 2011. haven't touched a cigarette since. That's not bad going. I've just got to take a short break, and we'll pick that up when we come back. So we know why you got in, and we're going to see what the end game is when we come back uh, after this quick ad break. We'll not be long, be back in a couple of minutes. in Yorkshire for your EC needs. That's iVeber.co.uk and iVeber-Elixir.co.uk iVeber and iVeber-Elixir.co.uk Proud sponsors of VeberTrails.tv Right, I'm making a complete mess of all of this tonight. There are calls coming in left, right and centre. Um, we've still got Dave Kitson and Anna on hold and Johnny's coming in to join that one. And when we finish talking to VB, then we'll be going across to that call. So please bear with me. I'm, I'm really trying to get to grips with all of this, but it's the first time we've tried it and it had to be Nugget that decided to do it, didn't it? So where, where were we, VB? 
we'd, we'd, we'd got you into what's the end game for you and, and given that you've got that uh, Tesla in your hands which looks huge uh, I think I've got a feeling I know where you're going but do tell us I'm just going to keep using as long as I can and that, it's, it's as simple as that it's as simple as that as simple as I that. tried to quit smoking on NRT it didn't work I had horrible side effects uh, no side effects with this so I'm just going to keep using it but, I like the little buzz I get from nicotine. So, no, no intention of quitting nicotine, every intention of carrying on with what you're carrying on with. That's fair to say. That's right. Yep. Lovely. That's true. VB, for the time being, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to try and get to the other call now. This is going to be good, especially if I find the right mouse. I'll find my way around all of this in two seconds. There's the other call that's on hold. I'll take it off hold. And who have we got now? We've got... Hello, Bob. Hey, up, Dave. Yes, I, you, you can probably gather from all of this, people, I cannot see a thing that I'm doing because the, the, the machine that I'm looking at that's got everything on um, is absolutely miles away over there. I can't reach it and I can't read it, but never mind. <laughs> never mind. So, oh, Lord, they're coming in left, right and centre now. That's... So, uh, oh, Right, left, right, center, hang on, let me. I'm gonna go back to Dave Kitson. Right, left, right, center, right. Hang on, if you if you're in on a Skype call, can you put headphones on, please? Because we can hear everything. Dave, are you there? I am, Dave. How are you? <laughs> I'm making a complete nutter mess of the whole thing. It's all going to hell in a handcart, but it is really gratifying to see that there are so many people waiting to get in on the calls. I'm just good. It is, yeah. It, it's brilliant. Do you mind awfully if I'm, I'm just going to keep getting to them and if I get lost, can I come back to you for a hand? Of course. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Please bear with me, everybody. It's the first time we've done this and it's it's an absolute nightmare for me. I've got my Evic. I've got 60 ml juice right here in this bottle. I'm good for a while. Right. Um, I'm going to come to Bob Oldgit next, I think. Um, and he's there on pause. Bob, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, mate, yeah. Right, Bob, same question for you. What made you start? What's the end game for you? Uh, two kids, mother-in-law, wife, doctor, all wanted me to quit. Uh, I didn't want to quit, though. That's the thing. I enjoyed smoking. I still do. Mm -hmm. um, it was about 18 months. Well, June 11. Mm -hmm. um, I found my first kit on one of your sponsors' sites, uh, Liberty Flights. Um, got it from there. It was the old cartridge and atomizer. Mm -hmm. Started going with that. Things were going well. Then I started getting migraines and whatever. I was allergic to the juice, PG. Mm -hmm. um, took me a while to find out what the problem was. And again, that was down to UK V1 and a post by Steffi J, uh, who we haven't seen for a while. Um, uh, got that sorted out. Then lost the mother in law. Things went pear shaped. Started smoking again. Right. Then uh, January 25th last year, I said enough's enough and uh, went on to it full time. Since then, I haven't had a cigarette. Not one. Not even thought about having it. And the smell of them now just puts me off, to be honest with you. Right. Mainly because I enjoyed these so much. You know, I'm, I'm still getting my nick, but I'm, the flavours are amazing. Yes. So the end game for you, th th there's no notion to cut down to quit or any of that. It's no. it's e cigs until they nail the lid down. Exactly, and they're going to nail the lid down with the hellfire with me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm telling you now. If you go before I do, I'm coming down for the hellfire. I'm telling you that for nothing. That's going with me, mate. That's going with me. <laughs> um, seriously, you know, on a serious note, I know we've got this impending EU directive coming over us or, and whatever. If on the off chance, everything does go bad and they start taxing nicotine as in the liquid, and you can only get it in those, what is it, a 0.4 milligram uh, cartomizer? Uh, yeah, a 0.4 milligram strength juice in a device which will hold no more than half a mil to give you two milligrams of nicotine in whatever it is is connected to the battery. Well, that's about as useful as a chocolate fire guard, really, isn't it? I would think um, it's, it's probably as as, uh, as much use as Anne Frank's drum kit, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think, like a lot of people, they would end, I would end up 
getting Nick off the black market or buying from China, that kind of thing. Um, at the moment, I'm getting a little bit of a store coming in. I'm starting to freeze some. Right. Um, mainly because of I've got a feeling it is going to go wrong. But I'm, I'm hoping I'm wrong. I really am. I'm touching wood that I'm wrong. But if it does, then I'm going to be safe for a few years yet. You well, know? I'm going to pose a question at you, Bob. And, and it, it's a serious point is this. What are you going to do when all the nick runs out? If it, if all the nick runs out, would you go back to fags? I think in all likelihood, that is a very high probability, yes. Right. It really is. So this, this, is, this is, again, it feeds in to... To what I need to be saying with to, to, to these folks um, on Monday, because effectively I need to know really if yeah. if if the the vape police come in and take everything away, what are people going to do? You're going to go back to facts, and I, I honestly think that the vast majority would. Uh, it concerned me a little bit what I heard on Sunday night. Bob, can I say thank you for the moment, for the time being? We may come back You're to you a little bit mate. later on, but thank you so much for calling in and taking part in what is becoming a scary experiment for me now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Double blazing, by the way. Thank you very much. Yes, I, 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 should, I should probably do what Mr Kitson's been challenging me to do all no, night. No, no, I'll just put the other pair on and, and you know, just, just so that people have the ability... To take the mic, um, I'll take the other ones off, and I'll put these ones on, and uh, I'll wait to see Sav laughing as the comments come in into chat. I've got a pair of them. You can all laugh as much as you like. I'm here to tell you, I can actually see what I'm looking at on the computers down here now. It's amazing. I can see what I need to look at. It's just... <laughs> Harry Potter looks at the age of 60. She's gone. She's only been... <laughs> Pack it in. Harry Potter. <laughs> Pack it in. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and bring somebody else in now. can't be serious. Oh. I saw Doug Phillips' uh, Super 7 was queued up. And I'm going to get everybody as I can. So I'm going to say thanks, Bob, for the time being. And I'm going to bring well, Super I 7 in. Cheers, mate. Ta-da. Super 7. There we go. So Hello, Doug. How are you doing? Hello, I'm fine. Hello, Doug. Yeah, I'm here. Good. I, and I've got somebody's volume coming through. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll turn mine down. Thank you. I'm, I'm try, I've got to try and remember to hang up on people that have finished talking that way they can listen. So, Doug, I'm going to ask you exactly the same questions as I've asked everybody else. Uh, what got you into ESIGs? What was the impetus for that? And what is the end game for you? Is there an end game? And if so, what is it? Um, okay, what got me into E6? Um, I didn't really know anything about it. Oh, I've got a bit of a delay, so I'll just carry on talking. Yes, you do that. Um, um, was was simply because um, I, I saw them on a website that I visited. Right. And as I was at home all day, because I'd given up work, um, my wife was complaining about the... Uh, the amount of smoke in the house. Yes, which is, yes, I, I understand that. I've had that as well. Yeah. Um, so I, I decided to give e a try because if nothing else, it meant I could sit down in the living room with my wife and watch the TV. And um, as soon as I got my first one delivered, I started using it and haven't touched a cigarette since. And what, what's the end game for you on that then? Do you see yourself using e-cigs until they nail the lid down or is there a, a date at which you'll stop using them? Um, well, hopefully. Um, I don't plan on stopping them. Um, but it seems the government have got different ideas. Yeah, well, we've got to take the government out of the equation for this one because let's, let's assume that they don't exist. Let's assume that okay. nothing's in the way, that the EU doesn't exist and the MHRA doesn't exist. What's the end game for you? Is it e-cigs until death do you part, or do you see an end to them at any point? Um, e-cigs all the way. Um, I feel I feel a lot better for it. My wife is happy, um, and there is the cost as well. It is a lot cheaper at the end of the day. Indeed so, indeed so. And it has to be said, a happy wife generally makes for a happy husband. Yeah, too right. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, indeed. I've, I've been married long enough to have learned that lesson many, many years ago. <laughs> a happy wife leads to a happy husband. I can see that Sav's being pensive. Doug, I'm going to say thank you for the moment. Um, okay, and I'll, I'll cut you loose and catch you later, as they say, in, in all the best ways. And uh, we'll, we'll go on to the next caller. Thank you for joining us for this experiment. See you in a bit. That was Doug, uh, Doug Phillips, or Super 7 as he's known. Sav, I can see you looking very pensive. I, I'm assuming that there's... Won't be taking the mick out of my glasses, are they? We got past the Harry Potter, but yeah, they did. <laughs> I won't read the rest of them. Mm -hmm. But I've got absolutely loads of stuff coming in from chat, so I have to apologise that we won't be able to read out all the comments, simply because I can't cut and paste quick enough. Me and Daz are cutting and pasting like crazy. But I'll start. We've got... Russell Order said, I started because I had my youngest at 42. I realised that I'd be 60 by the time he was 18. Both of my parents didn't get to 60 due to smoking-related illnesses. I love smoking, but I did not want that. I am a smoker who will always smoke. Nicotine? Question mark. Not sure what that is. I like the smoke, the action, and the hit or throat hit. Above all, I like smokers and the attitude of life that smokers have. Non-smokers and never smokers will never understand. All the best parties were always where the smokers were. That is a fact. <laughs> yeah. Vapor Man says, I did dual fuel for a short time, but I'm glad that vaping took over full time. Mm -hmm. Phil Emerson said, I never wanted to stop and still don't and never will. I am just not lighting cigarettes at the moment and haven't for a year. I started vaping in July 2011. As long as I enjoy vaping, I will vape. When I don't enjoy it, I will smoke. Simple. Moonlight has said, if the quantity was limited but not the strength, highly concentrated dripping capsules might have been an idea. Pop a capsule into an atti and it spills a few drips in. Midge Dog has said, regarding going back to cigarettes, I think most of us would, but equally don't want to have to. FMRL said, I'd probably try getting e-liquid direct from China, but if that gets blocked too, or is too risky, or too much hassle, then I suppose I'd end up back smoking. Moonlit again has said, um, if e cigs went bye-bye, I'd go back to the fags if I couldn't get any nick on the slightly fuzzy market. <laughs> Very boring said, yes, it'd be back to backy for me if the nick lick would ever run dry. And Fuzzy said, I have early oh sorry, I have early onset C O P D. It would be back to the fags um if the E cigs are banned and I'll possibly be yet another lung cancer death statistic. Is that what they want? You would think that some of them do. I mean if you just look at what the BMA has been saying of late, um and I've I've I've, I've actually got a piece here. Um, where the BMA, I'll, and I'll, I'll show this up just before we go into the adverts, um, if indeed I can do that, and I can. Yeah, uh, curb e-cigarette ads, BMA advises. The British Medical Association has called for strict curbs on ads for electronic cigarettes, warning that they are glamorising a product for which advertising is banned. It's unbelievable what these people are getting up to. Um, I'm not going to go too far down that one. We might, uh, we might get a look at it in a bit. But we're going to have to take a short break for a wee while. And when we come back, we'll take more of your calls. Um, and we're going to head it up with Andy Sutton. Because Andy, Andy's got a lot to say on this. So when we get back, let's see where we go. Thank you for watching so far. This is VT Talk. Back in two minutes.
And we're back in the room and what you will see is a shadowy figure. We're protecting his identity. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I can fix that. There you go. There you go. Is that better? It's Andy Sutton as ever oh, was. Hi. Hello, Andy. How are you doing? I'm very well. Very well. I'm going to... We really... I'm so surprised with the way everything is going tonight. Um, and, I'm, and, I'm, and it's a very pleasant surprise, I've got to say, uh, that so many people are taking the time to call in um, to the extent that I'd, I'd lined some presenters up and, and Gary Dibley, bless him, said, if, it, if we're getting short of time, just to leave him out of the conversation, he's fine with that. Um, but I, and So thank you so much. And I, I apologise beforehand if I make a complete dog's dinner of it. It's the first time we've tried it like this. I need a little bit more practice, but it seems to be working. Andy, you've been around for quite a while. Um, you are, in fact, one of the progenitors of uh, VaporTrails.tv. It was because we were slightly smashed doing a review that the whole thing started. But again, like, like with Dave Kitson, although I know him very well and count him as being one of my closest friends, as I do you, the, the true kind of motivation for for why you decided to, to, to go to E-Sigs, what you made you get there and what your, what the end game is for you. Again, it's it's a bit of a a veiled sort of area for me. So what, what's the story with you? Well, I've got I've gone through the story of how I got the first one. So in terms of why, uh, basically because my dad died of cancer. Right. And um, I knew smoking around my mum when she came over for Christmas wasn't the most emotionally kind thing to do to her. So uh, I just removed that out of the equation for her because I knew it would upset her seeing me smoking. Uh -huh. I loved smoking and I, I, I thank smoking for most of the jobs that I got on in my early career because you get to talk to people, you hang out in the bar and you're social. And smoking was a big part of that for me. Um, so really the root of me switching to vaping was the fact that I could say to my mum, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not smoking anymore, but I'm doing this. And that was it really. And the result of that is discovering something that I am incredibly passionate about now. And I've, I've had a look through chat and I, I you know, I, I'm, we, we are all, smokers and i can't count myself as still a smoker but i've just found a better way of doing it indeed yes yes and i i can I, I equate to that um very much so so what what's the end game for you is the one well i i want to keep vaping um i like nicotine i i i find it <clears throat> both relaxing and stimulating if that makes sense oh um, absolutely yes i mean if, if you if you're all riled up there's nothing like a good blast of 45 to just calm the nerves a little bit exactly and and the other way around as well yes if, you know, you, if you're uh, feeling lethargic and dozy a good blast of 45 wakens you up <laughs> or or you know a nice flavor that you like and and I, and I thought about this when i listened to your other callers as well um when I think about what I liked about smoking, it wasn't the, it certainly wasn't what it did to me physically. It was the action of it. It was a, a, a break from, a break from work. It enabled me to think outside the box on some sort of ideas, just step outside of the room and take a, take a view on things, talk about other, other things to other people. And it was, it was enjoyable on that respect. What what so the end game for me is to, is to keep doing this because I I've, I've I've got my cake and I'm I'm eating it. Exactly, exactly right. Um, and and Andy, I'm going to say thank you for that. Now I'm going to try and get to John now. Um, and again, I'm going to make the point that I have. I'm not going to say I've got no idea what I'm doing, but I'm I'm definitely struggling a little bit. So John, if you're watching, I'm going to try and come. Well, you must be. I'm going to try and come to you. Andy, I'm going to say cheery bye for the time being. Bye. And I shall catch up with you and none, no doubt. And I'm going to go hunting for John now. And he's here somewhere. And I'm, oh, there we go. John, I'm coming to you now. It's a video call. So you can see it happening. This is happening in real time. John, are you there? 
Can we all hold hands? No, it's not getting there. Let's try a voice call. No, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We're not getting there, uh, which is, is, is a little bit of a shame. Sav, so I'll come to you. Um, and if Mr. Dibley is kicking about, I think we'll call him in. Uh, before I come to you, though, you and Daz have been working together, have you not, on a little project? Yes. I think it's time for some diddly D music, don't you? <laughs> yes. Okie dokie. And Mr Kitson, I've just seen what you've typed into our Skype. I've got that. I'll come back to you um, while this is playing out. I yes, that was that time. that was called dead air. That was what was that was called dead air while I was trying to get this sorted. Do you know there are times when you feel a complete nugget? Um, but I'm kind of hoping that everybody will come on March the 16th to the knees up, the knees meet, and then they can all berate me and tell me what a numpty I am, and which is fine. Have we? Hello, have we got John? Hang on. Uh, here we go. And Maddie Paulus we've got in now. Hello, Maddie. Hello. Hello. Hello, Dave. How are you doing? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, oh, I can I hear you. Up. Can you hear me? Yeah, fine, mate. Good, good. Uh, same questions while Dave's trying hey. to get John into the other call. Yes, I can. Right, where did you start? What's the end game for you? Hello. I started when a mate of mine told me about um, electronic cigarettes. At that time, I was spending about 15 quid a day on normal analogues. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't afford 15 quid a day, so I gave it a try. Um, I've never tried to stop smoking. But what I have found in the last 12 months or so is I smoke maybe 5, 10, 15 a day, depends on the day, mm -hmm. instead of 40 a day. And the rest of the time, I'm on whatever. So I've cut down considerably. I can't say I've actually saved any money, but <laughs> I certainly smoke a hell of a lot less. So is, is, the, um, is the end game for you then... Uh, that's the, about it, really. The, the end game for you is the continuation of what you're doing, um, carrying on dual fuel and, and using e-cigs, and it's, it's a reduction in harm for you. I, it's, it's not a harm reduction thing at all for me, really. It was a financial thing. I enjoy a cigarette and I have one when I want one. Um, I'm restricted where I can have them these days. Uh, and if it's a case I'm somewhere where I can't have a, easily have a cigarette, um, especially at work, then I'm quite happy to use a vaping as a, an alternative method. Indeed. That, and, and it's that's not a quit for me. If I do quit, all well and good but i don't want to put that in my brain okay that's that makes absolute sense to me um and and it works for me really nicely now we're going to try and get john back in so i'm going to say for the moment maddie paulus thank you very much for calling in i'll cut you loose and we'll catch you later thanks for calling in Muddy. cheers mate right so where are we at here trying to get john in this is <laughs> It's all good stuff, is this? 
I think Panic. we've lost John. I think John's gone now. He's gone now, has he? I think, yes, I think John's gone. Who have we still got? Let's 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 bring Dave back in and see what's going on here because I'm completely lost. Hello, Dave. Hang on, I need to mute my playback. Sorry. Uh, yes, John unfortunately had to disappear. <laughs> right. So, so it's only me, I'm afraid, on this call. Well, that's fair enough. Let's let's jump across to Sav um, and, and, and see what's happening in chat because i should imagine that there's a fair amount going on you and think so, wouldn't you? and let's let's kind of sum up where we're at and what we're doing because we are actually getting fairly close to time um and i and i kind of want to fill people in on one or two things just before we go so sav what's going on in chat please right well there was an awful lot of talk going on in chat about um the adverts the quit smoking adverts and things like that so i'll just read a selection of the stuff thought that there might got. be yeah um, Steve 37 UK says oh this is actually a question I would like to know if they did ban the e-cigs all the people vaping 24 and 36 milligram juice if they'd all go to their doctors will they get help as surely it will be such a big come down to somebody basically going from 36 to what they're then being allowed which is what 4 um, yeah it, it, it is in fact uh, 4 milligram juice in 2 milligram doses I honestly think that they think that e-cigs, um, I wish I had one to hand and I haven't, but I, I honestly think they think that e-cigs, an e-cig is the equivalent of a cigarette. I'm pretty sure well, that's what they think, uh, or that some, somebody's planted that in their brain somewhere. Patently they're not, uh, and I think they just don't understand that, and it's one of the things that I, I think I need to be saying on Monday. But yeah... Um, given where I'm at with 45 and 36 milligram juice, if it had dropped me down to four, I'd be chucking myself off the Monk Weymouth Bridge in half an hour. It'd be ridiculous the amount I get through. Um, and I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna suspect that Dave would be in exactly the same boat, wouldn't you, Dave? Yeah, I mean, four milligram to me, it's interesting. I ran that poll on UKV um, to see whether people would try and source nicotine illegally, whether they go back to the traditional NRT therapies, whether they just quit cold turkey or whether they go for four milligram. And about 10% of people were saying they'd try with the four milligram. That would just be a complete waste of time for me. Complete would, waste of time. Yeah, I, I think I would, I would give it a go, but I think I know where it would end and I don't think it would end up nicely. It, would be, it wouldn't be pretty. It wouldn't be pretty. It wouldn't. No. It's just not viable. No, this, the sight of me splattered all over the pavement underneath Way, Monk Weymouth Bridge is not good. Not good. And there's plenty to splatter, I'm here to tell you. This belly's getting bigger by the day. <laughs> Sorry, Sav, carry on. Right, um, Leanna Lawless has said, the anti-smoking ads keep people smoking. All the people who would quit with those have done. Um, Ratfinks has said, the anti-smoking adverts for me always made me dig my heels in further. They control you enough. Who are they to say we can't smoke? Our money, our bodies, our life. Hear you, hear you. Yep, and FMRL, I've got a couple of comments here. The smoking ban came in and the best place in the pub was outside with the smokers. Then all the pubs started closing down. Mm -hmm. And again, the UK government make billions from cigarette tax revenue every year, a lot more than it costs the NHS. Indeed. Pharma make a fortune from NRT. Neither want people to stop smoking, so ASICs are a threat to that. Do you know, uh, you're right, you, that, that is so right. If you, if you follow the money, if you follow the money, you end up in a place you don't want to be. Um, I, I, I'm not. I'm not going to say whether it's right or whether it's wrong, I, because quite honestly, I don't think we're in a position to until some freedom of information requests that I've made are replied to, and when they are, we'll have a little bit better idea. Um, but yeah, follow the money, and it does make you worry an awful lot. Um, this has been something of a departure for us uh, tonight. It has been, hasn't it, Dave? Yes. And, and I may well have gotten it horribly wrong. And if I've missed anybody that said they wanted to be in and I didn't get the, uh, I, I need to look at how I structure all of this. But it's something I want to carry on doing because I've, I've actually thoroughly enjoyed it. And it's flown by um, bringing people in on Skype. It's amazing. And I'm ever so grateful to everybody that's taken the time out of their evening and entertainment to come and share their experiences with us. I think it's an amazing thing, and, and I want to thank you very, very much for doing that. Dave, what, what are we going to be doing about the EU 
and, and about other things going forward. I, I think I'm right in saying you are going to be covering it, I'm going to be covering it, and we're going to keep people as well informed as we possibly can, yes? Absolutely. I mean, there's always a risk of these things that you are preaching to the same people every week. Um, but but it's a risk I'm prepared to take, to, to, to be perfectly blunt with you, because uh, if this goes through as it stands, it's over, guys. It's over. I've heard lots of people saying, oh, I can put two years worth of nicotine in the freezer and all the rest of it. Uh, OK, so you'll face the problem in two years time. You know, the, the, because if this comes in, it's for good. Um, uh, the the we, we must get in people's faces about this. It's as simple as that. Um, you know, some people aren't comfortable going to see their MP and their MEPs and all the rest of it. Uh, some people uh, <coughs> have really taken this to heart and, and are doing great work. But every single letter that lands in an official's mailbox, it's, they, they have to consider it again. Mm. You know, uh, sooner or later, they'll think, actually, there's quite a lot of people banging on about this. You know, who knows? Yes. Play the percentages, keep in their faces. What else can, what else can we do? Well, I mean, I think both, both you and I have had requests, and I know a lot of people have had requests from certain MEPs to rally the troops, to get more people involved, to get more people writing to MPs and MEPs, to make a noise. And I, I'm going to say, I, I said it last week, but I'll say it again, and I'll keep on saying it. One letter from you is worth a thousand signatures on a, on a, a petition. And and it really, really is. And and one visit from you is, is ten thousand hundred letters. You know, it really is that simple. It it's it's it, it it's that good. And with with sites like Right to Them, all you need Google is Right to Them. It'll take you straight to it. You can get onto it. You can put together a letter to all of the people. You just need to write it once and send it off. And then that's it. They, they, they may reply to you and that's fine because it opens a dialogue and the more they become aware that there are loads and loads of people that are opposed to this idiotic legislation, the better the chance we've got of at least amending it and getting something sensible out of the whole thing. But if we do nothing, nothing will change and it'll go as it is. Now it all starts on Monday so it's not too late. Get writing now. And as, as we get information as to what we need to do, we're going to pass it across. That's what Vapor Trails TV is all about. We're here to try and help you. That's what it's all about. And I think we probably need to be looking at uh, calling it a night for that one, I think, Dave. It's about that time, isn't Indeed. it? Indeed. Is there a quick word from chat, Sav? Chat, they're all just incredibly positive. They're saying they love the show, they love the format, and keep doing what you're doing. Well... Thank you for that chat, and, and that's exactly what we intend to do. Um, we're going to fight the good fight as best we can, and let's hope everybody rallies together and gets this sorted out. Let's do fight it. Do fight it. Fight don't, assume, it. don't assume somebody else is going to take care of this one for you, guys. It's not going to happen. We've that's got to do it for ourselves. The sisters are doing it for themselves. That's, <laughs> that's the way it's got to be. So, from Dave, from Sav, and from Everybody that's called in tonight from the whole team here at VaporTrails.tv, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for calling in. Thanks for being with us. Fight the good fight. Vape on, vape hard. See you next time.